All right, welcome back to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. I'm Rich Walsh alongside Ron Cook, and we're going to go out to Twitter. have a couple questions here. Max Kronberg just tweeted me, Hey, Rich, Ron, do you think the Steelers specifically, Ben Roethlisberger can get past the best secondary with A.J. Boye and Jalen Ramsey? Do I think he can get past him? Sure I do. Uh, you know, if Antonio's healthy, and it certainly looks like he is, he's been a full go at practice. I, I think Juju is a much bigger part of the offense than the first time they played. Martavis is a little bigger part of it. Uh, I absolutely think they can win this game, and he can have a, uh, a big day passing. And but I think Le'Veon's going to have to do his thing running the ball. This offense is prime now. They're healthy, um, much more so than it looks like the defense is. I think they're going to have to, and I think – uh, I don't expect Ben to throw five interceptions. I don't even expect him to throw one this week. Uh, who's your X factor in the game, in the passing game? Who would it be, Juju? Well, I, I mean, you know what you're going to get from Antonio Juju. How about, you know, McDonald, the tight end? I mean, he's been a big part of what they've been doing as of late. Uh, they got a lot of different weapons. Uh, Jesse James can still catch a pass, too. All right, let's go out to the phone lines. So we're going to go out to Marilyn in Munhall. How you doing, Marilyn? Hi, thank you for taking my call. I was just wondering that after this season of um, miscues and shoot oneself in the foot with um, different issues, why Le'Veon Bell would pick now at the critical part of the season to talk about his salary and Thanks, Marilyn. I mean, he I was asked a question, but he but had the option of saying, hey, I'd rather, like you said. Now is not the time. Yeah. I agree with Marilyn. Now is not the time. All right. Um, David Palladino just tweeted me, Steelers couldn't care less about this now, but enough sideshows all year. Might as well add another. Bell put himself on our microscope for Sunday for sure. Steeler Nation will have no time for errors. Better come through. That's exactly the point you made at the right. beginning of the show. No, don't fumble, Le'Veon. Don't make a bad mistake. And Waynard said... Uh, no, no, I want to make it clear. I don't think he's going to. I think he's going to play a great game. I really do. I think he's healthy. He's primed. He's ready to go. And I would expect him to be at full strength. And I don't think uh, this means uh, anything whatsoever And when I talk, for the game this week. When we talked to him yesterday, that's what he talked about. You can't make mistakes against this defense because they capitalize. That's how Jacksonville's built. They wait for you to make a mistake, an interception, a fumble. And that's what they did last time against the Steelers. Well, five interceptions is, is what it is, as they say. All right, back to the phone lines. Let's go out to Ken in Clearfield. How you doing, Ken? Hey, guys. How you doing tonight? Good, thanks hey, for calling. Just, uh, uh, I'd love, love to play off. I, I'm just going to make a prediction on some of the lines. Uh, I do do a little bit of gambling. I'm 55 years old. But I love the three lines. I love the Steeler line. I love the Patriots line. And I love the Falcons line. The Vikings and Saints line... Minnesota favored by five. Now, I'm a Viking fan, but Vegas put that at five for one reason. They like to make money. Everybody and her brother, except anybody in Minnesota, is going to take the Saints. Minnesota will win that game by two touchdowns. Thank you for your, thank you for your time. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's, 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 the Jimmy the Greek with his tips <laughs> here for us. So, so who yeah, did he yeah, take? Yeah, yeah, wager favorites. on your own risk, people. I mean, I, I love the Steelers minus seven. I don't know so much about the Patriots minus 14. That's an awful lot of points to give up in, in a playoff game. It might be one of the, the highest spreads ever in the postseason, 14 points. But I definitely like the favorites to win in the AFC. Uh, maybe not so much in the NFC. I think both those games are uh, – you could maybe flip a coin. Um, Wise guys are usually pretty good with those lines. Oh, it's amazing they how right on they are. Yep, yep, it's yep. It's amazing. Um, all right, back out to the phone lines. Let's go out to Seth and Carrick. How you doing, Seth? Hi, how you doing tonight? Good. Thanks for calling. Good. Um, there's a lot of talk about the, the triple Bs, the killer Bs, but uh, what do you think about Boswell being a difference maker in this game? Uh, he's been terrific all year. Uh, I don't know what the weather conditions are going to be like on Sunday. It sounds like, according to Jeff Frizzella's forecast, I just watched it, that most of the precipitation is going to be done by about noon on Saturday. It's going to be just cold, really cold. I don't know what the wind's going to be like, but uh, I'll take Boswell with the game on the line. He's proven to me he can make them. Yeah, I think I actually think that the Steelers will be well ahead. I, I have a feeling this is going to be like that, Minis that Miami game last year in the playoffs. Um, I, yeah, they're going to need Boswell, no question about it, but I don't think they're going to need him to win the game. No, I'm not That's, necessarily saying that. I'm just saying I, if they have to, I'm yeah. okay with that. Yeah, I am too. And, and Vrizzella told me it's going to be 20 degrees 
uh, for most of the game. I don't know what it's going to feel like, but I know yeah, it's going to be The winds degrees. could be bad. That's the worst part. Ben has always said he can handle cold, rain, snow. The wind is the hardest thing for him. Yeah, speaking of Ben, I mean, he wore both gloves today at practice. I guess he's preparing for it to be cold. And when we all talked to him in, um, on Wednesday, he talked about it's tougher to throw the ball, obviously, in the cold weather. It makes yeah, sense. Sure. And, but he's used to it. He grew up in Ohio. Right. So, um, and he's been in playoff. I'd rather have him thrown it than Blake Bortles. <laughs> no this question week. I'll about tell you that. that. How about Blake Bortles uh, comparing himself to LeBron James, kind of? Did you hear yeah, that sound? I I, yeah, so. Uh, they always say LeBron stinks. So yeah. if, they, if they say he stinks, they're going to say I stink. So. Yeah, all right. I don't know who says LeBron stinks, I don't, but I, uh, I, I guess there are people out there. All right, let's go out to Sal and Cranberry. How you doing, Sal? Hey, good morning. How you doing? How you guys doing tonight? Ah, good. Thanks for calling. But, uh, Rich, this is for you. About uh, five minutes ago, you said uh, we're talking about the injuries, and you said that they're going to need these guys for New England. Are you already locking them in against New England, and how do you know that they're going to win? Yeah, I've that said that many win? times the last couple of days. I think that they're Rich, definitely – they're punching Rich, their ticket. Ridiculous. Huh? Rich, Rich, that's ridiculous. Why is it ridiculous? That's what I oh, think. I, mean, I don't play on. for the team. You I think they're going to win. I think that they're playing New England. That's my and, opinion. I'm allowed to have opinion. Jaguars, and then I also have one other question: New Res one or two? I don't even know what the second question was, I but in, but I mean that's our opinion. I mean, you think they're going to win? Yeah, I, think I mean, I don't think I don't win. think it's an absolute lock, but I think I mean it won't stun me if Jacksonville comes Put in. Put a and percentage wins, on but it, it'll the be the chance that they would. It'll lose. be one of their worst losses in franchise history. It's like a ten percent, fifteen. They're seven, chance. seven and a half point favorite. They're playing at home. They got everybody lined up offensively. These defensive injuries do concern me a little bit because Jacksonville uh, is a big running team, and if you take out Tuit and Hargrave, you're already down Shazier. Uh, teams have been able to run against them. We'll see, but I mean, I still like them to win. I just don't. I'm not quite ready to put them up against New England yet, but I think that's what's coming. I'm punching their ticket. I'm All guaranteeing right, I'm a gar- win. I'm, guarant- I'm guaranteeing a win. I'm glad you are. I'm sure. Uh, maybe if Jacksonville, you tell them now, they won't bother flying yeah, in on tell Saturday. Them, tell them save their money. Don't All right, fly let's go out in. to Paul in Mount Liba. How you doing, Paul? Gentlemen, how are you tonight? Good. Thanks for calling. All right, this one, Ron. This is for you specifically. You've been covering the Steelers in football an awful long time. I've been wondering for a few years now, how come they never talk about average per carry regarding an NFL running back? Now, you've written in the past that you believe the Steelers have the best offensive line in the game. Le'Veon Bell this year averaged an even four yards a carry. That's the average for a running back in the league. And I was just curious about that. Thank you. Uh, I'm not sure what the question is. I mean, Le'Veon Bell's a great receiver as well. I said he's the best all-around back. Uh, he's not a breakaway guy that's going to run for 80-yard touchdowns, but uh, uh, I have no problem with his per carry yards per average. I don't, I don't know how I'm supposed to respond. Yeah, I like the fact that he can do everything. Levy on I like Bell. the fact that the line protects – Ben does a tremendous job protecting him, and they're going to have to be at their uh, top of their game on Sunday because that Calais Campbell is an absolute terrific player. Some people are saying he could be defensive player of the year. Um, so you better block them. Yeah, you know, they don't even have to blitz. They still get after quarterbacks. Yeah. It's right. a great defense. Ben said one of the best he's seen. Uh, I, you know what? I don't think that's too, too, too far of an uh, of exaggeration. Very good. All right, we've got to take a break. More phone calls, probably more of my predictions and guarantees coming up next. Stay right there.